Okay, priest stream is. ago the singularity formed its creators uplifted into something beyond our understanding these beings now known as the lexites left earth traveling to multiple planets in our solar system before vanishing altogether this is why we are here welcome to star control a state-of-the-art international space agency tasked with the exploration of our solar system and the defense of earth here reside the world's brightest minds and greatest technology brought together by a strong curiosity to discover the unknown help us pioneer the future join today Stars. Check. Big thing, boss. 
Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, and here welcome to Ladies Hub. I'm Hillian, along with Aki, and welcome to a yeah, a, a new name to the Something Sunday Showcase Sunday, because well, that says more accurately of what we're actually doing on these days. <laughs> so yeah, uh, not sure if we'll, the name will stick, but we'll see. Anyways, what we'll be doing is we'll be trying or showcasing four games, or at least up to four games, if a game doesn't cooperate beyond uh, what I've already tested out, uh, then we might skip it. But other than that, we'll give each of them half an hour for about two hours total. First off being Star Control Earth Rising. That Earth Rising is new. It, I think that's possibly the name of an expansion that got added on, but because the original lane is Star Control Origins. Though this game isn't actually comp directly related to the old Star Control games of 1, 2 and 3, or which number 2 is actually the most well known, and I've played it for a bit but I could never get far into it, or at least far enough that I wouldn't get my ass kicked by the time limit, because there is one in that. That's why the name is so familiar. I've not played them but I do recall YouTube, you mentioning at times. Yeah, Star Control 2, the Urquan Masters. I have Star Control 3 in the, my cabinet back there, with a, with, a, yeah, with a guide to get through it. But from what I've heard, most people consider it absolutely terrible, so we might do that at some point, uh, just, for, <laughs> just for fun to see how actually terrible it might be. For now, though... Oh, Let's get started on this one with New Game. I asked for the top of the line, do you think it's in the universe? No pressure. Yeah. That is my inside of the humor of the game. Yeah. I'm not... I've heard mixed things about this story. Oh, I... I probably should have hidden myself earlier, so... Uh, let's just quickly jump through this, uh, then we... The last of the crew and some time to get started. Yeah. Star Control is ordering uh... you to travel to Trite. Star Control has accelerated. Try not yeah, to I'll lose just... it. I'll just skip through this quickly, so because I accidentally skipped Inc. that uh, thing. So exit to main menu. <laughs> New game, and this time I'll hide my... Uh, it shows up instantly. We believe this is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where, exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. Okay, that was a lot shorter than I actually anticipated. Yeah, right, I know then. why I recommend this. I have seen some YouTubers play it a little bit. But not the entire game. I've seen a bit of it as well. Most of the time I think they gave up on it or something. Yeah, so it's not trying to know a lot of it, but everything else... I don't know if they would really do this like... Uh, some of them did some uh, preview for a few episodes and uh, left it alone for no reason. Instead of making a let's play. Excuse me? What? What did you just do? Last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. Okay, let's see. What do we know about this radio signal? Yep. It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. 
That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. Okay. Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. But uh, is it safe to die? <laughs> if you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Let's see. Does this supersede our mission to investigate the Lex sites? Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing these Lexites are like uh, AI or something. That uh, yeah, they spoke of in Singularity. Singularity is typically something related to AI getting gaining sentience and such. So yeah, that's my best guess that these Lexites are a robot faction or something. We still have no I'm idea. Sure. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. Post-humans? They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs, maybe bored of our smell. After they left Earth in 2085, we know they set up on the moon for a short while, but that was just a staging area. So they're out there somewhere. Hmm. Well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. Okay, so they're hum I'm guessing they're androids then, or cyborgs of a sort? But it seemed to talk sure, about that they could be more ancient. Hmm. So they now, post humans would be well after humans. If they were predecessors, they'd be pre humans. Mm -hmm. You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? <laughs> That's not a good sign. What do you want to know? Uh... You use your thrusters to fly forward and steer. Knowing your fondness of old computers, you probably have configured your maneuvering thrusters to be the left and right cursor keys, and thrust will be the up key. Braking maneuvers typically require you to turn the entire ship around and thrust in the opposite direction. That's the basics, at least. If you want to refresh your combat maneuvering skills, you can visit the training facility at Ceres as well. Okay, that's a bit more, that's a, <laughs> a lot more organic than typically uh, press these and these buttons. Yeah. <laughs> your ship's computer will automatically put the ship into a safe orbit of any planet in the solar system once you get close enough to it. Scanning the planet from orbit will reveal items and resources of interest, as well as potential landing zones you can send your landing craft to. Okay. We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you as resource units, or RU. You can use RU to purchase new components for your ship. Okay. Hope that helps, Captain. Well, are you scared of something? They could mm -hmm. still be older than humanity, but they could have still have evolved from humans long ago. They just hid themselves until recently. I'm going to go with the androids uh, cyborg stuff Star at the moment. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. <laughs> I'll try to try. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. 
If we want to make any more Vindicator class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, <laughs> and please hurry. Yeah, I'll start coming to there visit are a and lot of people down on Earth open. anxious to find out what's going on. And I'm curious to know, did you name this ship after me? Yep. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure if it should be flounder or concern. Uh, we'll see what if I. <laughs> we'll see what it is when I fly this thing into a sun. For now, though. We have our target up there. But yeah, just starting to... We'll have to see how at, how close they stick to the original style of the... Well, of the previous Star Control games. But yeah, so Captain, far so good. We've located Quirky. the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. Okay, so the scanning is done automatically. Up here we have our crew, our fuel, and I'm guessing this... Oh, that it out. Cargo. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get ready to launch then. And we need to stick in this landing pattern. For safety. Let's see. Well, steer. you did a way better than most YouTubers. <laughs> Okay, we have a boost. I didn't actually take a look around. Oh, I think that's that square is probably where we need to go. Actually, we crashed it a few times on the first try. You <laughs> just landed boldly. <laughs> it's just a square. It's, it's, it's just straight down. There wasn't much to do, and I, it seems we already got someone killed by by going into that geyser. Yeah, I would not be surprised if they'd be patching it to be work smooth for them uh, when their YouTubers did it, when it was more fresh new. Let's see. You actually came. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Uh. Your friends? Maybe? I am Chief Viscosity Officer Windu of the Tyron. You think it's nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. Okay, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's a giant space slug. It's a funny story. You like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. Um... That makes so much sense when you say it that way. We're actually trying to protect you from the Scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the Scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were, until a few months ago. The Scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did, by getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. <laughs> okay, that's one way of stalling them. <laughs> uh, da, 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 looks like you need, seems like you need more help from us than the other way around. That's a fair point. Still, what's a few favors between friends? Uh, what help you need? Well, let me explain. The Scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is... We can help you, if you help us first. 
Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them, which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Now, we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. You can fix half of your ship falling off? We can? <laughs> I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. Let's get to... Might as well Thanks. flatter a bit. <laughs> it went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not start to death far from home. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. Uh, uh, before, we, before we help, we have uh, some questions. You want to learn more about us? I have never been moister. What do you want to know, best friend? Uh, so you've been spying on us? Spying makes it sound so creepy. I mean, it is creepy. It just doesn't have to sound that way. <laughs> we prefer to call it potential friend oversight. Uh, and, uh, were you the ones doing the abductions with the probing? Uh, <laughs> that makes it sound creepier. Yeah, we're never going to completely get away from the creepiness problems here. <laughs> uh, why were you spying? The scribe have sort of left us in charge of this part of their empire. Though not in a way which gives us any actual authority. But that is how we found you about 50 years ago. We thought about contacting you. A lot. But experience has taught us that it's wise not to interfere with aliens before they're ready. Mostly, we just watched your television shows. You're Bad a lot idea. shorter in person. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. They definitely have some of the humor. Uh, yeah, no, that was you. We just watched. Some humans went into the woods and came out walking funny, and they made all that up as an excuse. We never had anything to do with that, no matter how much we wanted to talk to you, and hug you, and hold you, and cuddle you, until you could travel the stars for yourselves. It was safest if we just left you alone. <laughs> okay, they are a bit overly friendly. But yeah, it is a good idea to leave a species uh, to yeah, develop its own culture and such because yeah, we, you, most of everyone have seen it probably in science fiction at some point or another that uh, one species sticks their nose in a, in a more primitive species' business and yeah, the uh, less developed species clings to the bigger uh, one, or the more developed one. Uh, yeah, and loses a lot of their own stuff because of that. That or worse, the rebel yeah. and misuse the more advanced technology to a disastrous effect. Yeah. Of course. Or they get enslaved. Now, what are these crimes? Yes. They're the dominant species in this part of the galaxy. Or at least the part of the galaxy we know about. When we first reached the stars, it was the scribe that met us and forcefully included us into their empire. Yes. 
Yep, uh, how were you protecting us from him? Because we knew the scribe would wipe you out if they found you. We've often kept a ship in the area to steer them away if they came by. Don't even bother checking out that yellow star, I would say. Not a great plan, I realize, as I say it out loud. But it was never an issue. They actually don't care that much of what happens in this neighborhood. Until just recently, anyways. Okay, does that mean that they have something bigger to deal with somewhere? Entirely unselfish reasons, you could be sure of that. Honestly, once we started watching your shows and writing fan fiction for your shows, and then uh, taking that fan fiction a bit too far for your shows, <laughs> we could hardly just sit back and do nothing. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, let's let's just ask this one. We joined the Empire about 600 years ago. The scribe have changed a lot since then. These days, they're really more into exterminating new species they encounter. Okay. No. No, you can't. As surly as humans are. You are nothing next to the scribe. Their surliness technology is thousands of years more advanced than yours. You guys don't even know about hyperspace. You haven't a hope fighting them if they find you. Hmm, that, that is a bit strange because that signal that they received in the intro of the game almost came across hyperspace. Oh, it's just the best thing ever. It's how we travel between the stars. Without hyperspace, it would take you hundreds of years to get to the closest star. Based on your technological development so far, you humans are probably still a hundred or so years away from building your own hyperdrive. Okay. Yeah, we don't much like talking about them either. Uh, let's just so, <laughs> let's get out of this <laughs> before he start, it tries to hog the camera. Uh... <laughs> Great! We'll give you so many hugs if you manage to succeed. Okay, abort, abort. <laughs> Great! <laughs> All right. So yeah. One thing about the story control games, and this one also it seems, is that they won't point you specifically to things, or at least collected. most of the time. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. And that you have to actually go out and explore. And so, sometimes you will get uh, yeah, a general direction or area to work towards, but in general you'd have to do it, a lot of it trial and error. And I'm s noticing that the frame rate is dropping a bit and... Oh, I meant to go to the options menu, not to do this, okay? Uh, let's see. Here we have an overview of the minerals, of the temperature and such. Vinuclus. Okay. Let's see, let me drop the graphics a bit. Uh, not there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Let's set that all to good then. Oh, those will restart up. Let's see, can we drop this then? Okay, hope. I was haven't I didn't notice too much stuttering, but we'll have to see. Oh it's, oh that's the planet of time. You see, exploration is a lot of it takes up a lot of the star control games. And yeah, from what I did play of the ones that yeah, it's, I did well play, <laughs> it was fun uh, because yeah, you have to look around, and of course there are certain people who do not like that type of work. But still, let's see. Weather is deadly. One point three five. Oh, okay, that is a very dangerous landing point or you know, landing planet with all of the lightning. Uh, yeah. Weather level 8. Okay. Powerful winds may make safe uh, landing on this planet extremely difficult. Let's not go here then, because I'm not seeing... 
Can we actually move? Yes, we can move this around. Okay, we can see a bunch of minerals, a lot of minerals here. But I'm not seeing anything important. So well, that's I'm not good. Here, but I thought um, Titan was an ice moon. Not sure about that. Astrology isn't one of my strong points. Let's see, harsh weather. Okay, this looks a lot more reasonable. Yeah, reasonable. Let's see, a lot of minerals. Not seeing anything specific about any of the things that we might be looking for. Then again, he said most of it was in the inner circle, and that the other yeah. half was on one of the big blue planets. Yep, yeah, and that planet you we still look older like a golf wall. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what you get without an atmosphere to, to catch all of the asteroids coming through and fro. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Sir, something of importance. Two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with the Lexites or something else entirely? Okay, so they'll they'll speak up if there's something to find. Okay, okay. <laughs> I landed in the last one at least. Now, what have we here then? Is this one of those modules? This looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Okay. There's one more thing somewhere. Uh, let's see. Is there a way to open a map? Oh, there's a map of the solar system. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of stars that we could possibly visit, huh? Yeah. And each of those stars will have their own planet. Well, have. Ha Typically, at least one planet, I believe. And let's see. Is there is the other thing? Is this another module? Looks like it. This okay. looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Grab a few more minerals and oh, yep. for a moment, I, what the hell was that sticking out of the ground? But no, that's our ship. <laughs> Actually, nice that you can see it in orbit. Okay. Do you use compliment my looks? Thank you. Oh, 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 I don't think we want to deal with that. We, we have no choice. <laughs> scan it. Scan it. Vessel does not match patterns for any authorized sentient being. EM broadcast detected. Spectrum analysis. Technological development level T3. 2D imaging broadcast identified. Processing. Facial edge discrimination does not match known sentience in this sector. You are not a Taiwan. Who are you? Okay. Uh, we're humans. Being where you are. A scribe legate has been notified of your unauthorized existence and is approaching this sector now. Oh, great. Transmission incoming. New orders received. Local fleet probe vessel zero will clear system of unauthorized organic vessels. Continue to remain where you are. Uh, no thanks. Okay, seems we're we'll getting to show off some of the combat. And yeah, we only have one ship at the moment. Uh, probably should have done a bit on the. Hmm. And there we go. On the <laughs> training stuff on how to fi uh, fight. But, yeah. yeah. And I think the scribe are the robot and not the left side. If the scribe has been around for over, you know, over thousands of, you know, at least a thousand years, then it can't have been the left side since it seems like those have only been around uh, a century or two at best, maybe. And yeah, we have... Let's see, have we... We don't have a secondary attack. We have a basic nuke, though. And which is making it rather hard to hit, hit this stupid thing. Yeah, but I recall when I watched the YouTube videos, I was extremely curious of the left side, or if the YouTube would not be confused about them. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Our avatar was doing a little dance there in the center. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I'm 
I think we know where we can find the other half of that ship then, and we are a bit short on time, so let's get, try and get that at the very least. But yeah, so far, so fun. Like, I, I have heard mixed things about this game, especially about uh, some, some legal issues with the original creators or something. Um, yeah, the, yeah, don't know what it was. I I think this game was taken off stores for a time. Sir, oh. we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. Yeah, shut up. We're going already. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. No. Maybe I that's why some YouTubers uh, left it alone for a bit. Could be. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> uh, I think the original creators of Star Control were wanting to make a new game of their own at some point, but I guess, yeah. Hmm. I'm not. I'm unsure now. Guess this game still has the Star Control name on it. So maybe they lost co the control of the, uh, yeah, of the copyright of the name or something. Oh, uh, hello there. Huh. Hello, um. Hello, mind if I join you? Uh, we don't mind. Uh, we are just going to, we are soon going to finish with this game though, which is Star Control Origins. Okay. Um, so, would you guess I'm an idiot? Hmm? Would you guess I'm an idiot? Yeah, everyone's an idiot at some point. I bought aliens. I bought aliens, colonial marines. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, at least the, the, the way to fix that is now known. Yeah, except I wanted to pull some audio for co op characters. Because I want to make a voice track for XCOM 2. Okay. And the problem is, I don't know how to work on Unreal Engine. Okay, well you can always learn about that. Yeah, uh, but I'm also but I'm also an impatient fuck, so there's that. <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing actually of use found there. Oh, it's actually a bit sparkly even when we leave. Oh, Maybe was that? there's still something there. Yeah, there, there's still some stuff there. Uh, hey, you want me yeah. to recommend the game? Uh, which game? Captain, this planet is uh, well beyond our total overdose. To we'll need to find oh yeah, I know that one. I own it as well. Have a hope of safely exploring oh. the surface here. Okay, this place okay. is way too hot. <laughs> so about... yeah, let's not. That's Venus. Of course, it's hot. Star Trek Elite Force. I've heard good things about uh, this game, yeah, about that Captain, game, and I think it had a sequel. Well our... Yeah, it had a sequel. Okay. At least yeah, they warned us about being unable to land there. I uh, mean, it's the sun. Do you want to land there? Not on the sun, but on Mercury. <laughs> but let's Why take would a look you land here. On Mercury. There's something here. We were looking. We were looking for parts of a space you know, ship uh, from some aliens that crash landed on the uh, Triton. Now, before we go with... what is that? Is that our ship, or is that something else? Hey, wait, let's look here to get a bit of info on those leg sites, maybe? Because I am still freaking curious about what is the deal with them. Captain, this is the lunar facility the leg sites settled after they first left Earth. We've sent surveyors here before, and I don't think much has changed since then. Not from all the dust I can see. It doesn't look like the leg sites were here long after they arrived in 2085. This was just a staging area they used before traveling elsewhere. No idea where they went after this, but you know that as well as I do. Finding them is why we have a star control in the first place. Captain, there's something powering on here. Blinking lights, humming sounds. There's a computer screen turning on. It says, threat to remnants detected. Lander self-defense technology ready to be used. Insert uranium to power. There's a slot in the device here. Do we have any uranium we can feed this thing? We do? Great! Okay. Well, it's some kind of laser gun, Captain. Looks like it will fit right on our lander. That was nice of the Lexites. 
Okay. And that's all here? Uh, hmm. No info on them, but threats to hey, remnants Captain, detected. Now that we have a laser gun, why don't we try shooting some rocks with it? In the name of research. Let's see. Is that a bomb? Science, shooting rock, shooting lasers at everything for research sake. Okay, some golds. Okay. I don't think there's a concentration with ROM. What? That they, they, the, the NBC was you. <laughs> that wasn't okay. me. You sure? I, I only now know yeah, this was a reading interest. It. I was a little busy trying to patch up my fucking finger, which has a cut on it from God knows where. Ow. Right. Uh, save. Uh, let's see. It actually says the the date here. Okay, so they left three years ago. Okay, they pretty quickly for them to get into space after that. Okay, just <laughs> going to abandon humanity. Fair. Okay, now. Okay. Ron covered. Ron even said when you about to uh, press exit. What? I was about to say, yeah, let's leave humanity to die. We don't deserve a second chance. <laughs> so okay. this game has a lot of uh, Romy humor. Oh, something seems to have gone wrong with the resolution here, I think. Uh, what the heck it's is also going flickering. On? Yeah, it, 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 why is it flickering? Okay, that's odd. Uh, let me try and fix it on OBS at least. Oh, I, I thought I'd resized everything for this already. Yeah, but uh, yeah. that, I'm going to put some food in the machine, as usual. Okay. Uh, hopefully this will fix itself on on Discord once I go into game. But yeah, this the second game we'll be looking at is Starbound. Uh, every, <laughs> three of the games we'll be looking at today start with uh, Star. Uh, yeah, we have a bunch of classes to uh, species to pick from. Uh, some of these is our modded. Uh, let's just hit random a bit on these. A random name. Uh, Xenon. <laughs> okay, Noble Gas. And let's go. Now, Drakir likes this game a lot. That I do know. I can't see it. It was all black there. Yeah. It's up. flickering. <laughs> Okay, that is odd. Not yet. It's still flickering. Okay, that's weird. Let's see anything. The options that might help with that. Uh, target highlights, multi-texturing. Let's turn that off. Uh, texture limits. Is that any better? Nope. Nothing okay. changed. Odd. Uh, don't know what I can do then. Maybe I very much doubt that that would do. Uh... Is it like this or something? It looks like it. We haven't had. Nope. But maybe we've had this problem once before. Nope. Hmm. I never had this problem before. Okay, maybe we should call this uh, one short then. Oh, it, uh, it, I see what's going on now. It's flickering, but it also resizing the image over and over. Like it's shrinking. It's flickering and resizing. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, let's yeah, let's go to graphics. Let's yeah, let's go to borderless window. Apply. Did that help? No. Okay, full screen. Oh, that better? It hit. It almost killed it. Now it's ended. Now the stream's yeah. over. What the fuck? I guess uh, no does not like being streamed on Discord. Okay, that's odd. Is it OBS? It shouldn't be OBS. OBS looks fine on my end, at least. I, I'm also if it is looking fine on OBS. So it, I guess it's. Not like this one. That, that is weird. Uh, let's see. Screen settings. Why did it move it? Let me let me try stopping it for a second. 
when we starting. If, if, if the computer will want to work with me. Stream Starbound, go live. Put it back in the corner where it belongs. Let's see, better now? Now it's, it's black. It, now it's black. It showed green, then a slight image, then black. The only okay. thing is working is music. Yeah, we might have to call it early then, because there, yeah, it's it's no fun to showcase something if my co-commentators can't actually see it as well. But uh, yeah, this game, for what it is, is nice, but it could have been a lot better. There's been a few videos online about this game and its development, and yeah, let's just say this game could have been a lot better than how it turned out. And yeah, let's just also say that the, the developer, Chucklefish, uh, were being a bunch of chuckle fucks when it came to hiring and paying people. So maybe for that re also reason as well, we should just drop this game. Yeah. Oh well. Also, guess we won't be streaming just then. The mods. The mods make it more fun, even. Yeah. Per degree. Oh well. And that is why we gave up to half an hour in case stuff like that goes wrong. Now though, a game that probably should run a lot better, but is also Pixel. It, okay, I really thought I'd fix all of these sizes before. Okay, now it's a white screen. Background. Okay, I can see it. I can see... Bird. Worst. Green Mountains Jungle? Uh, oh, never mind. I was way uh, more... That explains it. Jungle. Welcome to Stardew Valley. This and game already... right. probably doesn't need an introduction. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but I'm gonna be honest, this game kind of bores me because I just... I never cared much for farming simulators or those sorts of games. Because... True. I, I got bored at some point as well, but it was still in getting updated back then as well. But for now... Let's just, it's been a bit loud on my end, so... Uh... It, you know, my end was a bit loud. Like, I want to form a little person, but I can't like forming things if it, it's a small part of a game. Like, Ark, it has some forming, but that's not the main feature, for example. But if I go to play in the oh, right. One of forming... Uh, random thing. Oh? Uh, Helian, what would you like your XCOM name to be? Uh, is Hillian enough? No, I mean, I'm gonna use Hillian as your call sign, any sort of name you want. Uh, Martin Crown? What? And uh, you want. You want. Uh, call sign as Hillian, but you need a first and last name then, or something? Yes. Yeah, Martin as first name, Crown as second then, I guess. Martin Crown. That's... Well, okay. I'm not sure if you could be a cat and dog, but all different breeds of cat and dog. <laughs> okay, that one looks dumbest, so that we can... Yeah, you can select between three each, it seems. Uh, let's just go with uh, standard uh, tabby. Okay, I'll be criticized one. Stuff. If you're going to put the... Animal preference, not only to cat and dog. That is the stupidest her I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, what? Let's see. We Look get at his hair. Up. Look at the hair on the, on the gate on the player profile. <laughs> I don't say I did randomize a bunch. Let's see. We get to pick our type of farm. Standard farm, simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. Riverland farm. Your farm is spread across several islands and scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common here than usual. Forest farm. The, the woods limit your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Hilltop farm. Rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. Okay. Wilderness Farm, there's plenty of good land here, but we are at night, the monsters come out. Okay. Four Corners Farm, the land is divided into four parcels, each with its own perk. Perfect for a group. 
And lastly, beach farm, good foraging and fishing and tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on shore, however, sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil. Okay, each of these their own little uh, pros and cons. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, streaming this game at co-op at any point, but for now... Uh... Oh right, they have co-op now. Yeah. Let's do the regular one. Hmm? You said? When did they implement co-op? Not sure. At some point. And now they have to use forceful mods for it in earlier days. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen. Why do you have a scimitar on the mantle? There will be a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. We all are, old man. I used to deal with it by eating too much and playing too many video games. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Again, that's the nine to five, so. When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later, Grandpa's dead. And now everyone's working a date at 9 to 5. You at Amazon.com, apparently. One guy got fired. This asshole has a witty hat. It looks more like the logo of the YouTube channel Mojo. Mm. I remember one up. I remember seeing the, this cutscene, and one of the guys was actually a skeleton. Who is Julia? Not Yo Yo. Eh? Eh, fuck it. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered the most in life, real connection with other people and nature, so I dropped everything I moved to the place I truly belong. I enclosed a deed to that place, my pride and joy, Haven Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your life. This was my most perfect gift at all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, if Louis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? <laughs> and so we leave our shitty 9 to 5 existence. But why do you think of South America when I see Green Mountains? Why? I don't know, the jungle? I press that. Uh, for some reason, it looks like a jungle mountain to me. May your Lucas send me here to fetch you and show your way to your new home. He's right there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The home's right over there. Do you follow me? I get the feeling this game was nominated for Game of the Year at some point. Let's see, this is Haven Farm. It's a shithole. <laughs> I like it. Then we just traded a nine to five job with a steady paycheck and just boring nine nine hours to a shithole farm in the middle of fuck knows where. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Well, you you no time being a lot out decade. of this person. Here we are, your new home. 
And there's the old part. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's uh, been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Yeah, you know, when the population counts in the under 20, I believe uh, anyone new is, <laughs> is news. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Yep. It's a good house, very rustic. I'm guessing so... the hinges haven't been rusted off yet. <laughs> rusted, rusted, that's one way to put that's it. That's one way to put it. Trusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> so, again, you traded a 9 to 5 job for a shithole farm in the middle of no. Listen to her, Lian. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied that you buy one, uh, so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that hit a mark. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you are off to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. If only people would appreciate that. <clears throat> Pardon? I almost forget. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Why to the night? <laughs> uh, I've heard some things of people uh, who skipped the introduction and uh, tried storing all of their stuff in uh, that box and ended up selling all of their tools. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! Parsnip seeds? Let's see, you've received 15 parsnip seeds. Yeah. Here's a little something to get you started. Lewis. What the fuck is a parsnip? A comment from earlier, but she said about this is little old grown, but good soil. Yes! And if this is old grown, it means it is a good soil. Yeah, it otherwise it wouldn't have the nutrients to grow. Yeah. I want to have a really durable boss that uh, like in bad soil. Salt the earth, to let nothing live. <laughs> so, yeah, the whole so, yeah, like many farming simulator games, like many farming simulator games, the part, well, one of the main things is to well start your farm, which we need to do by first clearing up. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We're clearing up the grounds. Then we prepare some soil and actually we find some clay at the same time. Okay. I think it looks easier for every color than you to did it. It took them way longer to clean up what you just did. I mean, they did apparently sell the tools. Well, the YouTube that was did not sell the tools by my mistake. But I have to plop down the gross and plant one at a time. It's, it has been made easier, I think. Just, just the, the developers have been working on this game even uh, long after it released. Let's see. It's kind of good. What? Yeah, we clear our grounds. Plant the seed and water it, uh, rather it, not the, the ground next to it. And yeah, from there we'll just have to let it grow. So we on forest G1 today? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. And you yeah, we're that fun. done here I for the day. Really... You guys have fun. I really do find Stardew Valley kind of boring, so I think I'm just gonna bail. Okay. See you later then. Later. And hey, you can leave town! Quick, skip town, go to the next hotel over and have a drink. Yeah, it's mostly right? there for fast travel to other regions, which eventually will lock, now unlock. Yeah, I figured as much. I just find it funny that there's a the bus right there waiting for you. Anyways, oh, yeah. see you guys later. See you tonight. Let's see. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use the seed packets on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water, har uh, what 
water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. And our other introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> We've met two of 28. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is the town, or at least one part of it. And each of these, each of the people living here have their own routines. It is early now, only 10 at the moment. So a lot of them are probably in their houses and such. So, well, 10 a.m. isn't that uh, early, I think. We should be able to catch some people around here somewhere. Let's see. There's a river also running through the town. Let's see. And over here we have the shop. Let's see. Oh, and the calendar. Lewis's birthday, Haley's birthday, Vincent's birthday, and egg festival and flower dance. Okay. Yeah, some festivals that will... <clears throat> Like in many other farming simulators, there are festivals that uh, occur every now and then. And hello, Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me uh, you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and ML care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. And that's all we can get out of her now, it seems. Gus. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and the owner of the Star Drop Saloon. I'm getting some supplies from the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Okay, that's all. Oh, hello there. Abigail. That's right, I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. And then we have... Oh, nah. The this counter. Pierre. Hey, it's Mr. Hillen, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. And that's all that. And yeah, here is where we go to buy new uh, seeds. And the other stuff, grass. Some ingredients for stuff, wallpaper, flooring, and a catalog. Yep, that's a decoration. Provides limited access to all wallpapers and floors from the convenience of your home. Okay, that's far too expensive for us, though. <laughs> and, yeah, we can also sell some stuff. Uh, for now... Let's see, we have 500. Let's buy a few more of these. Uh, let's see, we had 15, now we have 25. Yeah, that'll make a good square. Over here is the doctor. Wait, you should also pay what Rom said earlier. I think I may have seen it. Mm, Wasn't it what? Game Rom that made the mistake? Maybe. Let's see. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. Yeah, a like lot of people like... Mine. Okay. Only slightly. Um, what were you about to say about him? Yeah, not about him, but about these types of games in general. Like, yeah, people like these games because it's... Yeah, relaxing. Oh, Hi, yeah. I'm, hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. And that's all we'll get out of him, apparently. Don't remember that character at all. Like Orc. Like, it's... Sure, you get a bit of adrenaline from flaming from dinosaurs, but there's something relaxing about you building your home, building your base, slaughtering your farm, mm -hmm. going on an adventure with your dinosaur and something like that. There's something relaxed about it. Yeah. So I can't say why people do like Star uh, Star Dew Valley, and why some also don't like it. Yeah, it's just different people, different preferences and such. Yeah, then also it depends on, well, a person's current mood. Like, do you want to be a feeling you need to be autistic? Do you need something more dreadful or do you want something that is more soul soothing? I guess? True. 
Yeah, yeah, grumpy old man. Hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay. Yeah, there are some people I think that we can't meet yet. Uh, oh, hello there. Penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. And that's oh, all we're getting out of her. I remember, I was planning to buy sofa at one point, but when I wasn't to look it up, I saw that there was no more official mode support back then, and no multiplayer either. Which made me a bit sad if I wasn't looking for a new game to maybe play multiplayer with people. And okay. I guess they, the only way to play multiplayer was by a off-site mod. Okay, you can get into the hallways of some houses, but people won't allow you into their bedrooms, of course. Uh, if you get enough uh, of a, you know, enough of a relationship with them, some may allow you. And yeah, like like many other farming simulator games, uh, you can romance certain characters. Uh, we've already talked talk with Granny, and what have we here? It's old and faded. Beloved Mona. Um. Okay. I'm guessing that's either nonsense or some sort of code. I recognize that. There's Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. I'm gonna say it's not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Else here to meet, not without intruding. Here's the thing about the, don't talk to stranger. Yes, it's true. You should not talk to be stranger. Problem is, everyone thought out as a stranger. Yeah. So there is a bit of conflicting uh, thing about that line. If you ever are looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay. Oh no. I'm sure I trust you in a saloon. Why? Gunfight? Yes. Uh, oh, aren't you exactly how I imagine? But that's okay, I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. And we have Caroline. Hello, you must be Hilly and the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. <clears throat> Pardon? Yeah, she's the town goth. Okay. Over here we have our energy bar. Basically, whenever we're doing an action with one of our tools, it'll drain it a bit. And so, yeah, we'd have to wait until we'd have to rest up to let it fight and fill up again. A friend of my little brother, who's also a friend of my one of my other younger brothers, if we moved, he had a... when he was very young, he had, had apparently got a very interesting nickname from the village outside of this town I live in. As... the Happy Emo. Okay. He dressed up like an emo, but he was very happy. And it's already 4 p.m. in this world. Yeah, time does fly in these. Yeah, so I, I don't think we'll get to meet everyone in town. The clock is wrong. It's, it's, it's 16 or 3. In the evening. Yeah. I think the clock is wrong. <laughs> okay. Our inventory is full at the moment with all of this stuff. So let's dump a, a stuff in here. Like the fiber. Uh, yeah, let's just throw those in there. We can keep these leaks for, well, eating, for, <laughs> for energy and health, as it says. That is the other way to up or restore your energy. Okay. Yeah, even if you miss an act, miss a swing, you lose a bit of energy, I believe. Okay. Let's plant all of these. I'm not really sure if it's a good idea to just spend all you have at the start uh, to get as much growing as possible. 
Because it will take a it will take energy to yeah take to maintain all of it during the uh, following days. So yeah, since we're not likely actually the saloon should be a good place to meet all of the other people. This game, you said something that has been making me ponder for years on end. Like, you eat food and you heal. Yeah. Like... It sort of makes sense and don't make sense. Now, food is required for healing, but it, in games it typically goes a bit faster than is natural. Yeah. I'm Maru, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Now with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community uh, the dynamic. It's exciting. It's a new cog that's getting put into the machine, so to speak. Let's see, we have Pam, we have Gus, we have... Uh, I've forgotten her name already. Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Alright then. Uh, was it Emily? I'm, I'm never good with names. What are you doing? I was trying to talk with her. You uh, already proved to me my point of why I don't trust you in a saloon. <laughs> you go right behind the bloody counter. <laughs> it's the mayor. So it was your first night in the old cottage. Drafty, probably. Rambo used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Yeah, would that be have been considered an abusive relationship then if it if it was terrible for his back? Likely. Let's see. I don't think the bed has anything to do with the house. Well, he did say uh, it's the same. From the, it's the same bed from the sounds of it. And yeah, even here. The Megacorp is reaching in. Uh. Yeah, there is a sort of uh, moral choice that you can do in this game. Uh, it's not open yet, and it probably won't be open for a few more days or so. But you have to, you can choose between uh, the nat as a more natural option, or well, the corporate option. Natural every time. Then again, I was raised in a village. Okay. For now, though, let's spend some more of our energy clearing this place up because it will refill once we go to sleep. And yeah, we still have time before we are forced to sleep. Yeah, like I said this. I'm happy. At, I no longer live in a village, I live in a city. But it's a really small city. Like, I can look out my window and see a green mountain. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of gardens and trees around in the parks, but this t t city is rather... It's, it's a coastal town, so it's rather long instead of wide. So it's very, rather slim in one direction and all that, so... But if I were to live, live in a bigger city, where there's more, way more higher houses, there's not many of those here, I would probably panic. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I live near the city at least. Uh, there isn't too much green around, and well, the Netherlands don't have any mountains worth speaking of, anyways. The only mountain we have would probably be considered only a hill anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I think we can stay up to about 11 before the game starts complaining at us to go sleep. So, wait, let's just cut down as much as we can before it starts complaining not that we'll be moving into this area just yet but some of these things will respawn so we can yeah sell more of them and while the wood and stone are quite needed for upgrades later on at least but uh, i think i could relate to this game i have complained to many friends lordy many times to go to bed so uh, yeah Let's go, go to sleep, and we get a summary of all the stuff we've sold. Uh, to the forging, other 115. So we made 
you know, we've made a profit of 15, you know, coin in that day. And yeah, it does keep a count of years, but I don't think there are any hard time limits or anything with this game. There is something that will happen when the second year starts, I believe, but I don't think there's... Like, uh, if you wait too long with something that it won't happen, or you lose a chance or something. Let's see. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 pack in a backpack. See you soon. Maybe all us gamers can relate to that. Uh, hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I'll, I've got something for you. Really. Okay, good. Before we go, though, we need to water these. So, yeah, it, it'll take a different amount of time for each of the crops to grow, and, yeah, you can only grow them during the correct season. And, of course, during each season, the crops will differ. Oh, out of water, we just... We fill it at the, <laughs> the river, which makes it well, makes it very easy to refill your water on this plot. Yeah, wrong one. Uh, what was I saying now? Yeah, different seasons, different crops, different times, different uh, values and such. And there are even different qualities of crops that you can uh, grow and fix stuff you can find, which of course will affect how much it is worth. Uh, for now though, yeah, let's head over journal to the beach. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach side of town. He says he has something for you. Okay, before 5 p.m. Plenty of time for that. In the meantime, let's check over here for anything we can forage. And go against Ram's advice of just bailing town. That's the 30 minute timer, but let's go a bit longer since we went short with Starbound due to technical difficulties. And just this game is just nice. Yeah. I'm also sad. A bit small, it makes me miss leaving a place where there was way more trees around my house. Even though most of those trees fell over from a storm. Yeah. Yeah, they had to cut a, a, a horse storm that once. And here Wait. we have Willy. Wait, Willy? Oh, hi there, son. Where there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Now, I'm still trying to unwind from a, a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. How expensive of a fishing rod do you have to get? <laughs> do you need a, a month's long of fishing trip to buy and pay for it? Yeah, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Okay, so that's why he's actually giving it away. There's no one in this town knows shit about fishing. <laughs> Let me see the man who pulled. Let's go to water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. And yeah, we don't have to go anywhere to fish because we can just get it up. We can just do it at our own farm. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Yeah, personally, I don't like fish. M that much, at least. It Raw fish, uh, very much not uh, so. I, I you won't find me at a fish market. I, I think the sushi was, and it was actually good until I bit into the paprika in the center and ruined everything for me. The paprika took over all the flavor. I have not heard of sushi with paprika before. Yeah, I think it was the local uh, variant, uh, or the, the, the restaurant's own variant or something. I think uh, the, I think I recorded all many sushi recipes, but yeah, I think like I would have enjoyed the sushi decently if it was not for the paprika. Inventory full. No, I'm not much of a fish sticker either. I used to like fish sticks, and I thought dislike them as well. 
And I've been trying to see if I can get myself to eat some form of fish that I don't need to debone. Yeah, that, that is one of the main problems I have with fish, just the freaking bones that... Some, for some reason, some seem to always stealth their way through. Uh, something, I've not had it happen in any uh, packaged fish before, or, or packaged fish fillet at least. Let's see. Yeah, that's happened to me with fish sticks. Like, if you buy very cheap fish sticks, there are high chance you may run into bones. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sell the daffodil. We can't sell the shell. Okay. Um, oh, trees. Yeah, I forgot. You can plant trees as well. And it bears fruit in the spring. Uh, these won't... Those worms die between uh, season changes, uh, but other crops will die if the season changes and they are still well, out in the field growing. They are. It's, it's generally a good idea to try and chat with everyone at least once every day, and hello, we, have we met? Uh, yeah, Caroline. Because with each of them that you... With each talk you... You gain a little bit of a relationship with them. And I believe some things will only become available once you've got a certain amount of relationship with certain people. Yeah, this is the problem one of I will keep talking. In most games like these, I would end up talking to every NPC as often as possible for any lore, info, or anything funny even. Just to have that, uh, not to miss anything good. Yeah, the problem is, is that you have to go all over the place to do so, and you have a limited amount of time. But, yeah. yeah. It, that is one thing I'd probably have to unlearn with this type of game, is that I, I'm not required to do X amount of things every day, except for keeping, uh, yeah, keeping the crops uh, healthy. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, a uh, local dentist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my um, laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. We met her. I had a father. Thanks. Yeah. I thought you met him as a dentist and a priest. <laughs> yeah, there's no uh, church here, I believe. And can't go into that room. You instantly heard nervous? No, because uh, the doors are locked uh, to you, unless they like you enough. All right. Uh, let's see, how many have, has that been? Seven to go. And I'm pretty sure two of those we can't meet uh, yet, at the very least. But yeah, there's no time limit. So yeah, all we really need to do is keep <laughs> keep the crops going, and uh, yeah, just enjoy things. That's one th that's one thing that would probably make this game less streamable for us at least, since uh, yeah, there'd be a lot of downtime. So at least maybe sometimes we could do a co-op stream just to mess around with this and have some fun, but for actual story streaming. Uh, Probably not. It'd be very slow pace, I guess. Yeah. We, we could have put it on the list of, uh, yeah, edit streams or edit recordings. And uh, hello there, Gunther. I think, uh, I think the 1800, 1800s want their passion back. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. This is embarrassing, but the previous creator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. If you, mind, uh, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? What? And, yeah. <laughs> it's a better explanation than all the other games where they just start off empty. Returning Vincent and Jazz to, uh, today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. He <laughs> doesn't seem thing. happy about that. He looks horrified. What the heck are you, she making him read? Alright. 
Oh, that's just no surprise. There's a book missing here. Wait, wait, hold on. He looked horrified. She looked surprised. Yeah, probably because but we met for the first time here. That or they are reading about flowers and beasts. Okay, nothing more to talk about. What's this? The book missing here. Yeah, we can fill up the, all of this if we want to. What do you mean missing? There's a book levitating on the desk. Uh, let's see, up here then I remember. Yep, the blacksmith. And no, he's not black, nor is his main black or smith. It's Clint. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. Uh, if you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. And yeah, that's mostly what we'll be seeing him for. Tool upgrades. I know why blacksmiths are called blacksmiths. Uh, why then? Because uh, they a lot of the sort and such? Actually, yeah. The most of all, they won't be iron, which makes them very black and dirty. Okay. Can we talk However, to you? It, here's an important thing, people. A blacksmith does not mean they make weapons. It basically just yeah. means they, they work with iron for average things. If you make a weapon, you're a weapon smith. You make armor, you're armor smith. A armor armor, a sword smith or other weapon smith and arm smith will be insulted if you call them a blacksmith. Yeah, let's see. Pam is here. Don't be snooping around the trailer when I'm out. Got it. <laughs> okay. See? My, Just a bit of what we do to you. Pretzel snacks. Gummies. Uh, let's see. We picked up... Uh, okay, someone wanted a soda, but our inventory is full and we can't sell anything here. Big co cola light can be... Okay. Decorations. And I believe the... Let, let's do a quick check. Parsnip seeds were 25 here. And I believe Pierre sells them for 20. So, yeah, they're they're overselling their, their stuff. Hello, Abigail. I'm in a good mood right now. Okay. Can be understandable. And, yeah, sometimes people just need some distance. Or some yeah. space alone. It would be the better word. Hello, Mayor. Do my grocery shopping here. Yeah, <laughs> they're more... Uh, might as well sell these as well. For a good amount. And let's get another batch of these. There we go. Another 25. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a small snack on some homemade Snickers that my little brother's girlfriend made. For fourth or fifth year in a row. Let's see. Okay, this map we can see who lives where and such, mostly. Uh, we have an unknown there, we have unknown there. I don't know much about that place. We have the farm, we have Marnie's ranch. Uh, where does Evelyn do? Yeah, Jody Kent and Smith. Kent is actually absent. He will return on the second year. Now, where is Evelyn then? Wait, Evelyn is the grandmother. So she'll be around here. All right, you, you asked about these homemade Snickers, and you asked if they were good. I think I just remember how to describe how good they are. <coughs> good, not that, but I like the stats. <coughs> okay, if they make you cough, then I'm not sure if they are as good as you say. No, no, they're not good. I think I just got some nut in the throat or something. I was just say, they taste way better than regular Snickers. Right. So yeah, if she gives them for me for me for Christmas nowadays, I'd be very happy man. Uh, but also concerned. But I think she wants me to be fat uncle. Oh hello, you're new. Or... But I mean she yeah. makes a lot. Okay, that's Shane. Okay, one cola. We have cola. Okay. And then we just carry it over our head. And then we go bring it to Evelyn. And be careful not to drink it ourselves with a left click. Yeah, probably best if I just hold something else for this weight training. Oh, there she is. I... Oh, you brought me that in basketball. It 
looks perfect. Let's see, here's what I owe. Delivery done. Payment get. Yeah, it, 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 there. Yeah. She gave us as much as it cost, but it got us some of the uh, relation points with her. And there. That's a fair. Yeah, That's so sure. Let's see. Yeah, you can get a bit of uh, reputation or relationship with them for by talking to them each day. And you can give two gifts every day. And of course, everyone will re react differently to uh, things. Yeah, some people will like so certain things. Some th uh, people will absolutely dislike other things that you might give them. And for yeah. that, it's either trial and error or, well, looking it up online. Yeah, no, there was a, some game I played that I think I understood how to write, but like, I think this is one of those mixed games where much of it did not make sense. Like, like you, you gave a, a character kids talk about how much they love something, and when they, you finally give them something that are of their interest, they somehow absolutely hate it. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds like a bit of bad writing then. Yeah, like I just like like, like moves. I used I used to go use this as an example as a comparison. Like, like I can understand if it's a character that like moves fruit, but maybe not one. But if they speak about how they love fruit and always eat the fruit, you will see them always eating fruit. But when you try to give them fruit, they hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then, then, then that's something wrong. Let's just dig out these other parts and let, let's call it after. Yeah, we can. Well, we let's just go to bed, see if anything happens in the next day. Yeah. Uh, if not, then we can call it. Yeah. Oh, that's your program specify. It's one thing if you like me, then like most fruits, but not every fruit. That's one thing. But even then, it should be specified that they don't like every fruit. Or that, that it should at least have, have inform you that some fruit they don't like or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah when it rains uh, on a day like this, uh, you don't need to water your plants, so it basically gives you a free day. And also, you can check out the... No, the, you can check the... Yeah, you can check the television for weather reports. Uh, weather forecast for tomorrow going to be clear and sunny all day, so we will have to water, uh, water them tomorrow. Fortune teller. Uh, da, da, da. Spirits are in good humor today, I think you have a little extra luck. Not sure what that does anything, or if that, if it does anything at all. I, I think but, it does. Yeah. Uh, well, at least, I think it's... Oh god. This is long ago, I think it does something, but it's like a... transcendence if it does or not. Okay. For now, though, let's just call this one. Uh, yeah, for story, no, I'd say on that. But Saturdays, we could do that from now every now and then. Yeah, though. Yeah, it would not be a main series, at least. Yeah. So now to the last game. Uh, which I, I was planning on doing another star titled game here, but it just wouldn't work for some reason. That would have been Startopia, where it's just basically a dungeon keeper but science uh, fiction. Uh, that would be the closest I could describe. But they were not really sure if there's any combat in that game. Oh well. Instead, we have Staxel here. So let's have a little look about this. That icon looks like the icon. Okay, so it, it is. I think it is similar to Stardew Valley, but in voxels. And timer starts. I think I've seen YouTube recommend it, me this, but I've not watched it. Okay, loading. Taking quite a bit of time here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, where's the randomized button? Uh, Ace, elf, human. Okay. No dwarf. I'm insulted. And um, I'm not seeing any difference between these stances. Or is that animation or something? No, I'm not seeing any difference there. That's odd. 
different backgrounds. Okay, that is always nice. Uh, <laughs> blue skin. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go with green. Well, as I said, yeah. it looks better than Pixar's uh, main characters. Yeah, that Pixar is nice, but it's also very simple. A bit over simple every now and then. Yeah, they took lovely enough a lot of inspiration from the, the mods from the regular arc, but at the same time, they they left a lot of things unfinished, which annoys me a little bit. Let's see. And uh, yeah, something about the main character, the creator there, like it looked so much first, but then they, the more you look at it, the more you realize, yeah, the characters look shit. And, as, and when you know, the first time you notice when the Pixar art characters talk, they look like puppets in an awkward yeah. manner, which just ruins the entire thing. Okay, so an itch behind the ear. Okay. Let's see. That standard WSD movement, place and rotate, inventory with tab, material pickup, G. That's an art. Button. Item hotkeys, journal with J. Can we change that? Doesn't seem to be here at least. And okay, just throw us in. Uh, what okay. is this? Yeah. I kind of like this. It has a little bit of a simple charm in a good way. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to need to fix the w the wall at least. Need a hammer to break this. Okay. Why not just have... put the box in the wall? Yeah. Hammer, broom, or scythe. And we can't even interact with the fridge. The, okay, they open on their own, or...? Was, okay. okay, I kind of like this, for the character seem to fit well with environment. Uh, oh, farm fan. Hey, yeah, you're a alien, right? Welcome to Stack, so I'm farm fan. Mayor Max told me you were moving in to take over this old farm. It's fallen into a bit of disrepair, but I can't wait to see what you do with the place. No, I prepared a bit of a welcome pack for you, but in all the excitement I left it at the store. <laughs> you think you could, you know, pick it up from the general store? Great, the Leaf should have it, but all you need to do is check Leif. your map and you should find him. It's pronounced Leif. Okay, <laughs> Light. Uh, M a to enter name. map modes. You can sprint by double tapping. <laughs> Sorry. Villagers talk to you during quests is long in your journal. Okay. Right, I can say now, Leif is a, or used to be a very extremely common Swedish name. Okay, th this works as a map, it's not an overhead view, but it, more like a, you're launched in the sky. Let's see. Yeah, uh, bloody and It shows where everyone is. It gets pixelated in a box. Oh, bloody heck, that makes it hard to see when the, the Discord decides to pixelate. During these kinds of games. Okay. It basically pixel upon pixel. Yeah. Let's see. Um, all looks well nice designed. Let's see. Rope, rosemary. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Life, and I run the general store. You must be Hillian. Farm fan told me all about you. She prepared this care package for you, but she rushed out so fast you forgot to take it. Okay, a hoe, a shovel, watering cans, and potatoes, and 500 petals. Okay, that must be the currency here. It's a few tools and seeds to get you started. I'm sure our, fan, our farm fan will help you get to grips with them. Feel free to come back. The store stocks changes daily, so you may find something you need. Okay. You mispronounce his name again to life! <laughs> That's... Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Is it, uh, I like okay. I like that it shows all of this uh, on the shelves and such with the uh, cost and the uh, on it. It's it, it's it, it's nice. It's a bit le more complicated than uh, having <clears throat> having a menu to look through, but it is nice as well. Yeah, it, it, as long as done well, so you don't keep accidentally buying things. Let's see, we have a hoe, a shovel, let's see, a, s 
let's take a scythe, a hammer, a pickaxe, and a normal axe. A sheep shear, we don't have any sheep. And let's get a broom because we it said we need one of those to clear up this <coughs> oh, bug nets. Might as well. Um, yeah, it said we needed a broom to clean up the spider webs. Let's see. Wait, shouldn't you not pay for that? It paid automatically. You can see it. Uh, it got discounted from that. Oh, all right. Let's see. Yeah, new prey. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. You don't look like fish. Uh, maybe smell like fish, but. <laughs> We won't judge on that. Here we are. I'm just a local fisher. If you ever need any fishing tips, come and see me. Yeah? Eris? Why? Oh, the only one that opened me right over you there. Must be new around here. Eris, skateboards, and bugs are my thing. Pick me up sometime. Okay. I usually like cat people and such in games and movies and such. Provided they keep away from anything that's with meow cat puns. <laughs> Imagine I'll be seeing you quite often. Okay, that's the mayor. Uh, let's head back. Yeah, it is, this looks very much like Stardew Valley, but uh, Voxel. Yeah, it's gonna be its nice own charm. So welcome back. I, I see you got the welcome package. We gotta get some of those seats planned before it's too late in the day. What do you say? Mm, sure. Super easy, you already have all the tools you need. Let me know when you've planted and watered those seeds. Okay, use a hoe on dirt or grass to till the soil. Use a seed. Make sure you water it every day. When the plant is ready for harvest, it'll have a green outline we looked at. Simply interact with it or use a site on it to harvest. Okay, simple stuff. Oh, no, I just realized something. If they ever, ever make a store button too, I sort of hope they would do it like this. Okay, the Voxel 3D. Yeah, for it, it would look like they literally went from pixel to pixel 3D in a bit more pleasant manner. Okay. Yeah, let's just till this all up. The towel's already been tilled, okay. Oh, uh, can we... We need to swap... Okay, we can just use the mouse wheel. But... Are boxing games usually easy to mod? I believe so, yeah. Ah, no. That's kind of nice. There, there, and there. There. Okay. Let's plop the seats right in some tilt dirt. Use a watering can. Yeah. Uh, I've got this. Okay. Calm down, little elf girl. Calm down. There. Okay, doesn't look like we'll need to refill this watering can. We're natural. Crops take plenty of time to grow, so we should leave this for now. Be sure to water it every day, though, you don't want it to wilt or worse with it. On that note, I found this turnip growing out back. Why don't you go sell it for me? Uh, ta -ta. Uh, who would buy it? You might have seen them on your way to, uh, to leave store earlier. The murmur merchants in town will buy anything you're selling. Use your map to find them and go sell them a turnip. Okay. Going to the town square for now. When you're done selling that turnip, come find me. Items on shelves can be bought for the price hovering above them. <coughs> Pardon? Just interact with the item to buy one. Sell boxes can be found around merchants. Simply put an item in one to get a sell price, then interact with the box to sell it for that price. Okay, so a bit of an extra step than uh, a menu would be, but it still could be interesting. Unless you have, like, a real lot to sell, then it would slow you down a lot. Yeah, and uh, i definitely going to need to uh, teach you how to pronounce that name. <laughs> you keep pronouncing his name into leaf or life. Now, what would the pronunciation be then? And I'm getting distracted here with <laughs> freaking butterflies. Leif. Leif. Okay, now so you like, it, right. like it's two, yeah, like it's two e's. Yeah, kinda. The hmm. the i the the i the e. I get to any Swinglish here. It's a it's there. It's just a bit more silent. Hence, it sounds like you're saying Leif. 
Let's see, where are these merchants? Uh, is there... Is it me or is there no music or is it very soft? Oh, that's why. Okay. Bit untypical that they have it low like that. And right. yeah, this is not the <laughs> that's not the shop or not the right shop for us. In the MD Sam. Hmm? Let's see. Where's the music? I'm pretty sure I heard some earlier. I just turned it up. Okay. Uh, where do we sell? They're not seeing anything on this map that says... Uh, hmm. Let's, could that be there then? That's the uh, Air's home base requirements. Okay, there is ambient sounds. And what the heck? Oh, that showed off the area. Okay. Maybe Wait, does it mean that you can. Oh, go on. I'm getting a bit of a feeling that you might be able to uh, change other people's houses then, similar to. Um, what was it called again? My Sims or something? A more kiddie version of the Sims. Or wait, do, oh, it's here that we sell. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, hello, kitty. Uh, let's see. Sim. Uh, that, that's just that's just painful. If you want to uh, sell that item of yours, it's placed on the sell table that interacts with the table itself. I'll give you. Petals in return. Okay. I put that there. And that. Okay. That's even, that's even a luxury one item. Okay, well, a bit the, easy. What the heck are they? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing a sort of demon with this one. Um, this one is probably an elf. And Okay, now the music is back. They thought that it was quiet for like a five minutes there. Nice one. Uh, anything you uh, find, carrots, grow, or make, you can sell to the merchant uh, for a pretty petal. I think that's everything I had planned to teach you today, and <laughs> someone's trying to assault one <laughs> area. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's only noon. You're a quick learner. There's one more thing, though. Keep an eye on that post box beside your front door. You might find letters from myself or some of the other villages in some place. You might even have some posts already. Be in touch with you soon, see you around. Oh, and we already have mail. Okay, that is a bit loud. And there. That's better. Yeah, do I stay gentle in a way? I kinda like that. Yeah. Do I guess they lowered it so much to begin with just so you can have easier have a tutorial? True. No. Or it easily draws out if you pick up something or something, uh, anything like that. I'm curious how wide... I'm curious what other things besides farming you might be able to do in time with this, because with... Oh, hello there. Um, wait. Was it just... Okay, it isn't just me. There's a bit of raw distance uh, with that there. With Stardew Valley, eventually you get access to a mine, in which you can also find monsters. I uh, wonder what extra things they might bring with this. Congratulations, your island has been randomly selected in our latest lottery to receive a total sum of you know, 200,000 petals distributed at random amongst the village. Your, uh, may your share bring you much joy. Uh, we thank you for your continued patience, Murmur Consortium. Okay, claim. I'm sure uh, he's... He received battle. 10 pedals. I'm trying to remember what of how many names I've seen of this, and I think this game is non violent. I could be wrong. Could be. Uh, some people. Yeah, some people really, yeah, would just want a game when they only have to take care of their farm and such. And. Um, 
Let's see. Well, well, sometimes let's... you need to protect your farm from random monsters. Yeah. Uh, let's go outside and see what's out here. I could already see a bit of a mountain with a uh, snowy top over that way. So let's do, go take a look there. Let's see. Don't because drown. it seems we've already been put off our leash to do whatever we want. Which on one hand can be a good thing, but on another could leave a lot of things unexplained. Yeah, and mm. there we go. You're always off your leech. Let's see. Like, if there's anywhere to get uh, monsters or such, it's probably here. Yeah, I can say this. With your, that, I mean, people, is whenever I play games like Ark, Valheim, or anything, all games like that, I'm the only one always having to run after him. <laughs> but he's mm -hmm. eager to just run off in a random direction. I can hear Ink uh, whining a bit outside the door, but I'm not seeing her. Si I'm not seeing her silhouette against it. Okay, there's the edge of the uh, island already. Let's still take a this look there. Wait, wait, what? Should that mountain really be snowy? I don't think so. Hmm. When I looked this know. up, uh, when when I installed this uh, by, via GOG, because I used that to install the game spins that gives a complete list of all the games I have across all of my libraries, it did say that this the scores for this game were rather low. Like 56 out of 100. So it could just be that there is, is a lot of uh, open space with this game. Hmm. Uh, it is somewhat new. I think it only came out around this year. Um, I think it's a bit older than that. Unpolished fossil. Okay. So I guess it can also be the, the game that is not for everyone. Like some people probably expect it like like with Story View Valley, you could face monsters and such. And if this is a non-violent game, it might be a bit too peaceful. Could be, yeah. Let's see. Okay, this place isn't that big, it seems. Hmm. Yeah, it could just be that uh, people think that it doesn't have a lot in content. Okay, we can mine this stuff out. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing this, this game could have potential, but depending on how old it is, it might uh, not get that... Uh, yeah, real. It might not get that uh, potential realized, and that's uh, the bug like bug of I feel like I only saw start to see some YouTubers play it around uh, the beginning of this year or last year. Hmm. There was a many YouTubers that had it had it up, and I uh, yeah, just gave it a quick look and felt I want to watch something else. Uh, I'll do a quick little search here, Saxol. Uh, create a farm is same thing. Let's see. Very positive on Steam. Um, let's see. When was it released? Does that say here anywhere? It should say on Steam. Right close to the whole positive okay. thing. Uh, April, uh, April of 2019. Okay. And... Oh, so it is Okay, so it All right. oh. seems like there might be more to it than just this. And wait, we can just teleport home? Cost oh, okay, that is that is a good thing to keep it uh, from being used too much. Uh, okay, I'm guessing there is a lot more possible here that you could eventually get into. And also okay. 19. Okay, that can explain why it feels so new to me. Wait, Which... that was night? No, it, it's what? still what? It, the clocks is still at the morning. It, I think it's being it's moving back and forth. Okay, is it, is it stuck in the morning of this first of spring? Uh, let's see. Journal starting out. 
Uh, yeah, there's no other thing to do. Okay, uh, the lights are turning on, but I'm not seeing the clock change. So, oh, okay, it is. Uh, it's it's turning the other way than I thought it was. Okay, so it is becoming night. Hmm. Okay. For now, let's just clean up here a bit and see if uh, the next day gives any information about what other things there might be. I'd say there's a lot of flowers around this place. Yeah. Okay. I see it is where the, where the not really is many flowers and such, but usually they're not uh, too heavily mixed. Yeah, let's just clean up for the moment. If we're going to get achievements that easily, I get the feeling this might be a bit too kiddie aimed of a game if they're just going to basically be jingling keys in front of our nose. Let's see. Okay, the, the, the cobblestone paths really need, need some work. Uh, what the heck? What? Uh, I just swapped uh, OBS back up front in front of the... Actually, probably best if I close the browser, since that typically tends to draw a lot from the CPU. Okay. But, uh, yeah, actually, watched some uh, YouTuber there, and he came, actually brought out a browser that's supposedly for gamers where you can adjust it does not do that, as you said. And I'm mm -hmm. surprised browsers can make games lag. Yeah, they, they take up a lot of. They can take up a lot of CPU usage. A, you, you know the name of that supposed browser? I already forgot it. But, uh, I felt the, I got a bit bored of it. Okay. And again, and also, I used to use my PlayStation to listen to music, and not. I don't browse so much on my computer. Let's see. Axe. Okay. So I guess mm -hmm. uh, just that commercial just didn't ring well to me, and just uh, skipped okay. it. <laughs> yeah, that's what most people do with ads these days, because yeah, nobody wants to have their time wasted by them every time. Yeah, in this case it was just uh, skipping forward, since it was uh, sp the YouTube was being sponsored by them. Yeah, a hammer for that. that. That looks a lot more like an, an axable log, but okay. Yeah, a sitting lock. Some decoration. Okay, that explains where the hammer would be. Now, clean up a little bit more. And there, and there. And that'll do for now, I think. Uh, maybe clean up a bit inside as well. Okay. Let's check out that mail. Break that, break that. Okay. Let's see. Supposedly achievement is meant to be its own reward by a person who likes it you know, when there is a little something more to sweeten the deal. Come see me every now and again and I'll check on what you've achieved to see you know, if there's really you know, if there's anything really special you deserve to be rewarded for. Okay. For now uh, there. Okay. A table saw will run automatically, but it's slower than doing it yourself. Okay. <laughs> nice that they let you skip to the other days. Now, let's continue a bit more here. Clean all of that up. Evict all of the spiders. <laughs> And suddenly a spider woman just comes down and calls you. Yeah, if she'd uh, be living in here, she'd uh, she should be paying rent then. Let's see. Yep, rain, so no need to water. Yep. 
Okay. You sure it's running a lot shards? Yes, that a little bit. Okay, I see how this game could be enjoyed by people uh, who want it, it a bit simpler and, well, a bit simpler version of uh, Stardew Valley and, well, a 3D version. Let's get rid of these. Let's go check out in town if there's anything new that popped up. Did I saw something in a trailer or one of in one of the images on the Steam store page it said some it showed portals. So what's this here? It showed Star Bits. Okay. Uh, who are you? Hey, wanna give me a I'm not sure I've seen you around. I'd shake like you, but I don't think you'd appreciate the old. Name's Elisa, though. If you ever need any crafting, uh, if you ever have any crafting needs, uh, I can help out. Okay. And we have. Uh, okay, for a moment I thought it was a hospital sign, but no, it's a building store. Okay. Yeah, we do have a, a hole in one of the walls, so let's go back there if it, uh, eventually. And I'm guessing that's another one of those star bits. Here's what those would be used for, then. Okay, uh, there's farm fam again. Yeah, it looks like I've received some interesting and new beats. Uh, these are from the town to record the occasion. Sugar beet seed, don't forget to visit me again next time. Okay. Can I ask you how bad the name them farm fam? Harris, uh, I think a tie would look uh, good with my tea. I've heard all the cool no, do, <laughs> cool girls do it. Ties and t-shirts, I'm not sure actually. Blue socks, oh. what the heck? Yeah, it might be, might be at uh, her shirt. I was wondering, what the heck does that bow tie tattoo anything to do with the, a cup of tea? Uh, I think they meant more a hanging tie, like a business tie. Yeah. Along with the shirt, that, that makes sense. And, oh, wait, yeah. There it's a slight trope in some animes. But especially in this guy, yeah. There are many girls that actually have ties. Even the succubi. Okay. Uh, but we know with Helltaker, they had ties as well. But they, that was with full business suits. Yeah, they, they, they make sense. In this guy, they just randomly have ties. Uh, but... Ah, it's not fine, but they also have fun. <laughs> not there. I saw I someone else. I with ties. And if you people play this guy, yeah, you know what I mean. Let's see. Hi. I don't think we've met yet. Amelia, I hope we'll get along well. Okay. Oh, I think these elves seem very pleasant. Yeah, I, I think this is more of a hitty version of uh, Stardew Valley, I'm guessing. Oh, there's three new males. Okay, let's go look. Uh, in a hitty version or very... more aimed to be relaxing. Yeah. Sometimes there's, there's nothing wrong with that, game. but... Uh, yeah, a lot of people would say just Stardew Valley is better. And... It could be said that it's better on a lot of things, probably, and um, this is bothering me, so let's get rid of that. A shovel or a hoe? There. Uh, got something from you. Robin, congrats on a new post box. The name's Robin, and I'm one of the two uh, designated postmen for your region. Here to give you a few tips. I think Ren was going to send you something too, but knowing her, she probably got lost trying to deliver it. I'm joking, of course. Send help. I think I made her angry. <laughs> You probably get a few letters from time to time, mostly from other residents looking for help or sending you gifts, but sometimes you might get something from out of town. Doesn't matter which... It's the timer. Doesn't matter which post box you check either, we're pretty good at making sure you're posted exactly where you need it, when you need it. Probably a good idea to keep an eye on your mail to make sure you don't miss anything important. Does that mean we, that we could check literally any post box? Or mailbox? Hmm. Hope you can to catch you on my round some days. And Ren, 
Hello, I deliver letters. I don't write them. Regards, Ren. <laughs> well, you did write a letter now. Let's go check that, that out quickly. I think that was the main man. A woman. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it seems that the bugs just stay in place with this. No AI on them at all. Let's see. No, you... We, we can only get access to our own. Yeah, it does okay, seem like we should be able... We can mess with other people's houses eventually, sort of like My Sims. Uh, for, for people who are curious, My Sims was an offshoot of the Sims games, which was a lot more kiddie-aimed. Uh, with not really voxel stuff, but it was more... It was sort of voxel near. I'm not really sure if voxel games were a thing already back then. But basically, you you could get you could decorate uh, other people's houses with that. I'm not sure. If I I know there was one game of it, or at least one, maybe even up to three, uh, on the Wii. I think should own. I think my brother owned one of them. I'm not sure if it ever came on uh, the computer though. For now though. Yeah, it, this looks like a cute little game. Not really my style. I'd probably go more for Stardew Valley, where it's a bit more complicated than such. Uh, and also has the adventure parts to it. Uh, no save options, so I'm guessing it's just auto-saves. Pardon? It's right there. Yeah. Always a good thing that it says that. So, yeah. Star Control Origins? We... I could see us streaming that from time to time, but it is a very big-ass world, so we'd probably need a freaking guide to make it through that from a start to an end. Yeah. Uh, Starbound, Starbound, if... Well, we could do Starbound in co-op, but its story is a bit uh, weak. Yeah, I think mm. it's more... There is a story, but it's not meant to be, you know, big and grand. Yeah. And Stardew Valley, we could. I, I'll probably start playing that again on my own. I got pretty far with that, uh, but it seems my save data has been lost. Could have been because of all of the updates. Sometimes that does happen. That's a reset is needed, similar to Heartspace Shipbreaker. But yeah, we could co-op uh, Stardew uh, maybe from time to time. Well, maybe. Let me see. I will have to look up how big it is as such. Uh, yeah, for a, for a story, it would be really freaking big, but not not really something like we do from a start to a finish, like with Orcs Must Die, but more from time to time just for fun. I mean, more like uh, how many gigs and such. Okay, it's not that big, I think. I can actually look it up right now. And, well, Staxel's a nice little game, but not much of in streaming interest for us. Now, let's see. How big is this game? Properties, uh, local files. Okay, only 600 megabytes. So, yeah, definitely more than small enough for you. Yeah, that... that okay. I will think about it, but at least that may put me a bit more encouraging towards it. Okay. Uh, yeah, Star Souls, like I said, a cute little thing, but not really string material. So yeah, still a good little howl. Yep, and what the heck is going on with you, your voice there? Uh, we probably should take a drink then. And it's more like, you, during the last bit here, your voice has been digitally breaking. Okay, there must be something on the computer end then. Yeah, it, All the more reason to call it, it, it then. Yeah, it might be just on my end perhaps, or... I, I guess we notice if it's on the stream as well. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, for now though, uh, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later, and thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Uh, tomorrow we'll do a catch-up stream for Orcs Must Die, because we didn't stream that yesterday. And yeah, Tuesday we will probably be continuing with Dark Souls unless something comes up. Right. So, yeah, thanks again, and until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks!